With summer on the way, we're going to be tying up one of my favorite grasshoppers. To tie it, we'll start off with some white thread, secure it to your hook shank, and continue wrapping until you reach the bend of your hook. At which point, we'll grab some dubbing. I like to use a synthetic blend of chartreuse, copper, and green. Blend them together and create a dubbing noodle. Begin wrapping your dubbing noodle forward in closed touching spirals. This will add some shine to our pattern, as well as create a base for our next steps. Continuing to add dubbing until we reach the head of our fly. At which point we'll grab some 2mm foam. Here I'm using yellow. Cut a small strip out of your foam, about a hook gap in length and round over the ends. This will form our body. Measure it to length, sticking out just slightly past our hook bend, and secure it to the top of our hook shank. With this complete, we'll grab a yellow marker and color in our white thread. We'll begin securing our foam to the top of the fly, doing so by taking tight thread wraps over the back until you reach the bend of your hook, at which point we'll reverse our thread's direction and continue securing it back up towards the head of the fly. The finished product should look something like this. Once complete, we'll continue securing our foam all the way up to the hook eye. Add another dubbing noodle and begin wrapping this just in front of our foam. This will help prop up our next material. We can then grab some elk hair. Here I'm using natural. Select a small clump and brush out any of the small insulating fibers. Add your clump to a hair stacker to help even out the edges, tapping it against a hard surface until they're all aligned. At which point we can remove our clump, measure it to length, about the size of our foam, and secure it to the top of our fly by taking a couple loose securing wraps before tightening it down. You want to ensure that it doesn't spin around your hook. Continue to secure it in place and grab a razor blade. We'll use this to trim away any excess fibers Wrapping back up towards the head of the fly, ensuring everything's well secured. Here, we'll create another dubbing noodle and begin wrapping back towards our elk hair. Trim your foam to length, folding your foam backwards and securing it tightly in place. Make sure it's secured, but don't take too many extra thread wraps. We'll then grab a different colored foam. Here I'm using orange, but just select a hotspot color. Cut out a small section and secure it tightly in place, followed by some silicon legs. Here I'm using tan. Secure the legs to either side of your fly. Start by securing it loosely with a single thread wrap, followed by additional securing wraps once happy. We'll then cut our legs to length. I like the back ones to be roughly the size of the body, while I trim up the front ones to be just slightly shorter. Finish by adding another dubbing noodle covering up any of our visible thread wraps, and finishing at the head of the fly. Paint over your thread once more, and whip finish to secure everything in place. Snip your thread free, and brush it out to give it a nice, buggy look. And this is the GFA Hopper. It's one of my favorite hoppers to use as a dry dropper. It's quite durable, floats like a cork, and offers an excellent profile in the water. If you don't tie, you can visit the link in the comments to help support my channel by picking some up off my website. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.